Hi everyone, so it's been a while since I've made a video. I've been on vacation, I've been just busy doing a lot of different things and I wanted to update you really quick on my bow locks. These are the free tress bow locks in 18 inches. If you are interested in seeing how I installed this video and when I first put them in, be sure to check out the link um, here or below this video. Um, anyway, really quick, I did take out the red locks. Yeah, I used to have five red ones. They were three on this side, two on the other side and I switched them out for black because I always end up doing that. <laughs> I don't really know why. I like color and then I get bored after about a week and I change them. So that's what I did. I just have all of the color number two in my hair now. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm gonna show you a couple styles that I've been wearing with head wraps and headbands because the roots start to get kind of frizzy and Sometimes I don't want it flopping all around. I, I really can't stand it in my face. So I'm going to show you uh, maybe six styles, maybe seven, <laughs> of how I've been wearing them with different, I call them head wraps, but they're mainly just scarves and headbands and pieces of fabric that I have laying around. So let's get into it. pause really quick. I actually ended up wearing this style to an event I hosted last month and I'm also hosting at the end of this month. It's the JCAS Film Industry Mixer and it's YouTubers and filmmakers and photographers and actors and models and all kinds of people in Phoenix, Arizona getting together and they just like network and get to, um, you know, work together and find each other in the film industry in Phoenix. So if you live in Phoenix and you're interested in maybe meeting me, or if you're interested in getting into the film industry, then come to this event and I'll leave that info in the description box below. But it was really fun and this is how I ended up wearing my hair when I hosted, well, I didn't host that event, but I was at that event. So I'll be hosting it, co-hosting it the end of this month, August 28th. So if you're gonna be in the Phoenix area and you're interested, then be sure to check that out.
All right, you guys, so those are my six styles that I've been rotating through since I've been wearing these faux locks. Wearing them down is nice, but they kind of swing all over the place, and at work especially, I wear headphones for the radio station, so it's actually really annoying to have the hair all over the place. So I hope you guys enjoyed those uh, styles that I put together for you. If you are interested in the JCAS Film Industry Mixer, be sure to check that out below if you're in the Phoenix area. And uh, honestly, my update for these locks is, I think they are, I think they held up pretty well, just like the Bobby Boss version that I wore. They get really frizzy, you know, my hair still peeks out of it. Um, they worked really great on vacation snorkeling. I wore it mainly on the top of my head. If you check out my Instagram, you can see all those photos that I took while on vacation in Hawaii. It's definitely time, I think, to take them out. My hair is so much softer than this texture. Um, it's very fine, it's very slippery, I think, because of that. And every time I got it wet, it got really heavy and I think they may have slip, slipped out a little bit. I actually redid a lot of the front ones, including the ones that were red that I replaced. So I did tighten them a little bit, but all the rest of it I haven't tightened. And you can kind of see the braids peeking through at the roots and stuff like that. And that's fine, you know, it comes with age. I've had these in for four weeks. I think it's about time. And I started wearing it in wraps. Sorry, I keep touching it. <laughs> I started wearing it in head wraps because I couldn't stand how frizzy it looked and that the roots were growing out, but I still wanted to do really cool things, so that's where these hairstyles came from. Um, other than the usual that it's a protective style, it is really heavy sleeping with it. I actually keep it in one of those giant buns that I made and I keep that blue headband on it and I sleep with it just like that. That way I'm not rolling on it and pulling on it and causing breakage and all that. Um, I have honestly not really been doing anything to it. When needed, especially on vacation after being in salt water, I would rinse it and I would use shampoo and then rinse the shampoo out and that was it. Occasionally I'll put in some oil, but I haven't really done anything, honestly, to my hair. Like the pieces I find that are sticking out, like this one, I'll probably put a little Jamaican black castor oil on the end and then just roll it back inside the lock and go on my merry way. And anytime I find knots, you know, because they get kind of tangled, I just cut the knots because it's synthetic hair. As long as it's not my hair, I'm gonna just cut it. But the style has been great because I haven't had to do anything. And uh, I would definitely do it again. I'm probably going to be Michonne for Halloween. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. And then Ben will probably end up being Rick Grimes. But he doesn't know that yet, so don't tell him. I don't actually watch The Walking Dead because I'm a scaredy cat and zombies freak me out. But I do know that there are a couple in that show. Sorry, that might have been a spoiler if you don't watch the show. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to check the description box for all the details about this hair and all the products that I used in this video. And until next time, bye!